Okay, sure, I'm getting into this. Hello, future people. Jason the Bruce here with Getting Tabled. Thank you for joining me for another Getting Tabled guide. I thought today that we would return to the gaming front, leave the hobby for another time. And today I'm going to talk about another one of these games that I've really fallen in love with. Wild West Exodus was originally created by Outlaw Miniatures. Uh, it was funded through Kickstarter in 2015. Wild West Exodus is the Wild West gone wrong. Essentially, aliens have arrived at some point and this is now an alternate version to our own history. Um, we managed to get our hands on something that we shouldn't have had our hands on and everything has gone wrong. Um, I mean, it's cool, especially for a gaming sense. Today I'm going to talk very simply about if you would like to get into the game, what do you need to do? There's a few games that we're going to cover on this series over time that will fit this category. Um, sometimes there are games where the best advice somebody can give you is to pick the models that you like and play with them. Um, but there's... Honestly, my opinion is that, that uh, they are the best games, especially on a skirmish level. Because if you look at something and... If you have a game that is reasonably balanced, um, and you can honestly just pick the thing that you like the look of, I think that adds to the fun. But, let's get on to the Wild West Exodus website, and we'll have a closer look at that. So, welcome to the Wild West Exodus Web page. Literally, we're looking at wildwestexodus.com. Now, this isn't to say that this is the only place that you can buy this. War Cradle is owned by Wayland Games, so if you're in Europe, there's a really easy source for you. Um, this is available in the US through multiple sources. I don't live in the US, obviously, so I'm not the best person to ask that. Okay, on the website, first and foremost, There is a hard copy of the rules that you can buy. I say hard copy, it is a soft cover. A5. Nice, thin, to the point. It's got all of your lore, it's got everything in here. Um, but you don't have to buy this. Wild West Exodus is one of those games where if you want to buy the rule book because you enjoy it, you can buy it. Or, honestly, you can just download it. It's available right here for free. Uh, you can get it so that it's the full book. You can get it so that it's just the rules. So on and so forth. There's different erratas. Uh, there's commentaries to help you decipher things. You can also get it in certain other languages. Like seriously, you can get this in other languages. Uh, the action and adventure cards are part of how this game works. Um, on this, you also get access to potentially all of your tokens, templates, base sizes. Uh, you've got all of your game cards and everything on here as well. Uh, your unit cards are found here. I will just very quickly go in here and give you a look. I'm doing this on the Wild West Exeter shop front. These prices are all in Great English Pounds. Oh, sorry, great British pounds. Uh, you would want to look at your local prices. Um, or if you're wanting to order it in, you will need to factor in um, postage into this. Okay. The main thing I wanted to point out with this game. The keen eye among you will be thinking, hey, why are you buying the same box twice at two different prices? Okay. So, I am going to open both of those. On the first one, this one is just your miniatures. This is your starter set, essentially. And you get everything you need for a basic game. So the difference between the cheaper one and the more expensive one is the more expensive one also comes with this rules and gubbins box. It will come with the rule book. 
a physical copy of the cards, some dice. The dice that this uses is D10s. You could have a combination of dice along with the card. So for someone like me who rolls like crap every time I roll a dice, uh, it helps a little bit in that. And you also get some basic tokens and a ruler sheet too. So it's very, very much this is your standard kind of one player starter set. At one time, there used to be a two player starter set. It would appear that they are no longer selling that product or maybe it's been taken off the website because of it not being available due to COVID. But if you would like to look into this game there are lots and lots and lots of options um, if you don't want to buy it by the rules then you just get your simple box if you want the fancy versions of everything then you buy the slightly more expensive one um, if you decide that you want to buy more than one faction box let's be honest we're war gamers, we're all gonna do that. Don't buy the expensive one more than once, obviously. It's just silly. Um, the other thing to keep in mind in this is that there are mm, heroes that you can get as well. Again, I'm gonna use the Warrior Nation in this because it's the faction that I kind of know better. Personally, the first box that I purchased was Hour of the Wolf. That's the one that's led by Ghost Wolf. Um, there is also a legendary version of Ghost Wolf. Ghost Wolf has this ability that to turn into a... I'm going to say it's a, a werewolf. It's kind of what it is, except it's not, it's, it's not a werewolf. It just happens to be a werewolf. If It's their own thing. It's just it's very clearly... It, it's a spirit creature. He's getting his thing from, the nat, from Mother Nature and so on and so forth. Um, there's a few legendary versions of characters where you get extra abilities and so forth. Um, there's a few different boxes. This box here has a character that can be used with Warrior Nation, but is not a Warrior Nation box. You'll find a few things like that. I have the Great Elk. It is gorgeous. Um, if you've watched, if you've been bored enough to watch my... Uh, miniature showcase in the background while we talk. Uh, you may have actually seen my 75% painted version. When it comes to a game like this, honestly, my advice is to pick something that you like the look of, something that you think that you're going to enjoy painting. The thing I really enjoy about s the smaller games is that everything is a character to some extent and everything kind of feels like it's worth spending that little bit of time on as opposed to i have to paint 700 orcs i will not spend that much time on every single orc because i will go nuts i'm not painting orcs i'm just using that as an example this is a game that's really easy to get into um, i mean obviously you've got to find people playing it in your area there is a decent player base for it. I mean, I'm not saying it's 40k, but there is a decent player base for it. Um, if you're looking to connect with other people online, if you're wanting to connect with people uh, through through social media and find out if they're playing in your area, there's two main groups that I'd point you towards. Uh, it's possible that there's one for your specific countries. Uh, Wild West... Posse, sorry, Wild West Exodus Posse. This image throws me off every time I try to say it out loud. Um, is one of the unofficial groups. It is slightly smaller, but very, very helpful player base. I found this very helpful when I first got in. This one has been around since the Outlaw Miniatures days. Th this actually has a decent number. You've got a decent number here. This is run by War Cradle and the team. Um, it's completely open it's a completely public group um it's, they, it's, this is the one that you will actually get them commenting on and so forth um they also do have their own youtube channel do a search for war cradle on youtube and you will find them otherwise like i said genuinely this is one of my favorite games thank you very much guys for watching this video 
If you would like to see more in this series and have suggestions of what games you would like us to do an introduction for, please let us know. Uh, we already have a couple in mind. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe. Share our content if you know other people that would enjoy it. If you would like to connect with us in other ways, all of our contacts are down the bottom, including a link to our Patreon page if you're in a position to support us. And until next time, play more games.